My name is Tim Carlisle. I'm an application engineer here at ProLearn PLM out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we're going to look at Solid Edge 2020 2D nesting. All right, throughout this demonstration, we're going to look at how to create a new project, import data into 2D nesting, adjust data such as shapes and also quantity, look at sheet sizes for nesting, and we'll actually run be a nesting and we'll look at how to export the data for use. Okay, we're within SOLIDIS 2020. We're looking at the WashTech bottle washer machine. And this is made of many different sheet metal parts. So why don't we look at Solid Edge 2D nesting to see how these parts are actually nested and cut out. We can go up to tools and simply select Solid Edge 2D nesting, and this will fire up the software for us. Within Solid Edge 2D nesting, we can now start a new project. It's as easy as selecting new, and from here we can select Solid Edge files. All right, we can bring in Solid Edge files as long as they have been flattened somewhere within the future tree. We can bring in DXF parts or files, and also. CSVs parts. And we can also select random shapes, okay, like if there's squares or circles or polygons, well then we can actually add those in also. And we can change the quantity of how many of these uh, parts that we need, and also we can remove them. And also clone them if we want to, and also rotate and mirror them in case we want to put them in a specific orientation within the nest. So why don't we start with the solid edge parts. Okay, from here, it's just as easy as selecting the part. We can put one in at a time, or else I'm just going to select all of them all at once, and then solid edge will populate that for us. Okay, we now have our parts now put into the 2D nesting from solid edge. And as you can see, we have quite a few parts here. And we can look down here within our little status key and we can see that um, these colors mean different things. Okay, the gray is info, the drawing is loaded, success is, is green, warning is yellow. This, this might tell us that there might be a sharp corner within the part that EDM or the water jet might not be able to handle. Then there's error, okay, like it uh, might have certain lines on different layers and also an error of a failed part. Okay, well, what we see here is we see a majority of our parts are good, but when we look at one of the uh, yellow parts here, okay, we can see here that there is a uh, pretty sharp cut here, and that might be tough for an EDM or laser or water jet to actually go in there and cut. So like we can either take, take this part out or else we can proceed to make this into a DXF for our nest and then go in there and modify the DXF part or else we can take the part out and modify the solid edge part, whichever remedy works best. Okay, I'm gonna show how I can take this part out. It's just as easy as selecting the part and it's gone. And I can submit these to the solid edge 2D nesting and we can see a little profile, a thumbnail of each part, okay? Let's say if I want some parts, um, I want to have five made of this certain part, and let's say we need four of these, okay? It's just as easy to go in there and double click on this and change it, or else we can go up here and actually select the edit quantity. So I can select this, I can go in there, I can change this and put in six if I want. And then a solid edge, will now put six of these within the nest, okay? Like I might need them to actually build this assembly further down the line, or else I need multiple assemblies so I can cut all these parts all at once. Now, let's say if I want to add some DXF files to this. This is very easy, very easy to do. I can now just uh, select my files. It's just as easy as coming here and selecting these two, and I can add them and uh, which we can see here, solid is put them in here, and I can come in here and I can actually turn off 
certain features within my a drawing file that I don't want cut out. Okay, let's say if I don't want these holes in there, I can take those holes out. Okay, and I can come down here and I can submit these. And as we can see at the very bottom, well, then these two parts are now added within our nesting. Okay, next I'm going to set up our sheets. All right, I'm going to create a new sheet. And this is just as easy as putting in the sheet size. I'm going to start with a square sheet first. Say 1,500 millimeters by 1,500 millimeters. Because I know that my width of my machine is 1,500. So I can add that. I'm going to add two more sheets also. This will give me some more uh, I guess choices. It will give uh, the solid is 2D nesting additional um, you can think of it as remedies to um, nest all of my parts. So I'll put in 2400 by 1500 and one more. Let's do 3400 by 1500 and select OK. So from here, like if I did have some sheets that were made within a, a DXF format, well, which I can bring those in, I can edit the sheets, or else if I didn't want a certain sheet in here, I can select it and I can actually remove it. So why don't we go back, or next, why don't we select nesting, and here like you can see that um, I can set up the uh, run time for this for from like one minute, I can run for, for uh, 24 hours, let's say. And then Solid Edge will keep on making different variations, different remedies for a nesting. Okay, it will it will keep on finding the best way that the software thinks will fit all these parts with the least scrap. So I can simply choose start, and you can see that Solid Edge will automatically start making this for us. Okay, we can see the amount of uh, actual material being used and we can see the actual sheets being used for, for, each, for each remedy, for each a, a solution. And I, I can stop this at any time. Okay, so I'm going to select stop and I'm going to go down, I'm just going to look at my different options here. All right, so let's say if I really like this one, well then I can next go to export and I could bring this into a solid edge drawing file, a draft file, or else I could bring it in as a DXF file. All right, from here I can select all right, like multiple files for each sheet. Or else I can have it put out as just one single row of, of parts that are being nested. I'm going to select the multiple sheets. I can change it from millimeters to inches if I want. And I can all, also put the parts on a single layer. So from here I'm going to export this and I'm going to give it a, a name. Let's call it nesting one, and I will save this. And that's as easy as it gets using a solid as 2D nesting. It is very powerful and very easy to use.